What's going on guys? Josh here with Goats Academy. Thanks for stopping by. So, I got, I put up a short a little while ago asking, why does everybody keep moving their lines in the sand? What happened to all the people that used to go by the old, if you're going to, if you're going to talk about it, be about it? Say what you mean, mean what you say. Don't talk the talk unless you're going to walk the walk. Where are they? Where is everybody with that mentality? And if you're watching, why aren't you walking the walk? What is so hard about saying what you mean and meaning what you say? I mean, granted, sure, there's some things to consider. Your finances, your jobs, your livelihoods, your this, your that. But when is enough enough? Because in all reality, what you have, whether you have or not, or not, whether you're rich or poor, if you're really about it, about it, None of that shit means anything. I don't care whether you got it or you don't. As far as like, yeah, you got money. Who cares? You don't got money. Who cares? Because if you're willing to step up, all that shit's irrelevant. So, why do people keep allowing the government and those around them to do them wrong? And it's not just the government, it's your everyday friend, quote unquote, acquaintances. When are people going to start holding to account other people. Like when someone does you wrong, why not just punch them in the fucking teeth and teach them a lesson? Like some humility, some respect. Because if you're going to respect people, People should be respecting you in return. It's a two-way street. You know, you got to give respect to get respect. But you can only give respect to those who show respect. Because again, when you show people respect, you're more likely to get respect in return. But, I mean, when are people going to start holding people accountable? If someone hurts you, take out justice on them. By whatever means necessary, by whatever means you feel is worthy of the punishment. In essence, make sure the punishment fits the crime. But yeah, I mean, why is everybody becoming a pushover? Or, you know, or a, oh, fine, it's okay. What the hell is that? Folks, 
people need to find their balls. You know, I remember a day when you looked at someone crooked, they knocked you out. You know, like, hell, when I was in middle school, someone tried talking shit to me in the hallway. What did I do? I punched him in the mouth. Never again did they talk shit to me in the hallway. Like, it's common sense. It's like the whole thing with bullies. How do you, how do you thwart a bully? By beating their ass in public. So everybody sees it. That's the only way to destroy a bully. Period. The end. Being nice and doing all that fancy shit. Save that for the birds, man. Turn in the other cheek. Man, sometimes turn the other cheek and turn your back don't work. Plain and simple. Can't always live to fight. You can't always run and fly, uh, you know, run and hide every time. No, man. Yelling doesn't do shit. Sometimes it takes knocking someone the fuck out. But you know, no, I'm not I'm not advocating for violence or anything like that. I'm just asking the question. What happened to accountability? What happened to personal accountability? That's the that's the thing, man. I'm seeing a lot of soft motherfuckers out there. And I'm not just talking about on the YouTubes or on the internet. I'm talking about in life. That when you come between a person and their freedom or a person and their lives, no matter what it is, When you come between someone and their family or someone in their property or someone in their their goals, there should be accountability to that. They should be held, they should be punished for their crimes against you. It's the laws of nature, man. You can't roll over whenever someone fucks you doesn't work like that. Someone does you wrong, you find them and you get justice on that. To where you prevail. Because it's only right. If you did the right thing by somebody, and they did you wrong, whether it be go behind your back or double cross you in some form or fashion, handle your business, man. Make sure that they do not fuck with you like that ever again. I don't care how you do it. Figure it out. But what happened to that? Where are all of my iron fist motherfuckers? What's going on? I mean, sure, livelihoods are great. We all got them. But when do you realize the stuff is exactly that? It's just stuff. The only type of trouble you can get into is the trouble you put yourself into. And it's only a crime unless you get caught. So, I mean, do what you do. (laughs) Uh, Oh, man. So, I don't know. Shit. I digress. Um, But yeah, I mean, where... It's been a long day. It's been a long day, excuse me. But yeah, where... What happened to the strong, the willing, the brutally honest... Where are all the people that don't give a fuck enough to give a fuck? You know what I mean? Stop worrying about being a law-abiding citizen because you're getting yourself screwed. That's what that that's what a law-abiding citizen is in retrospect is I'm going to play it safe and let anybody and everybody fuck me stupid. And I have to roll over and take it cuz that's what it means to be a law-abiding citizen. Nah. 
I don't like that. I really don't like that. I'm not letting anybody fuck me. Period. No metaphorical, not literal. But no, no, no. I, I, I personally, I do do my best to hold every single person that does me wrong in any which way accountable for their actions. In some form or fashion, they are held accountable. Because people need to know when they fuck up. People need to know. Like, if you had a friend that you were supposedly best friends with, and all of a sudden, one day, they just walk out your life. No explanation, no reason, nothing. And just leave you in, stranded, literally, for no rhyme or reason. That's fucked up. They will be held accountable for that. People like that will be held accountable for their actions because no person, when shown respect, has the right to get away with doing some stupid shit like that. You don't do that to people. You're supposed to do the right thing by people so people do the right thing by you. Period. The end. And that's what this this video is about. Doing the right thing, showing the proper respect to the people that you encounter and that you befriend. Because when you when you do the right thing by your friends, your friends will do the right thing by you and stick with you through thick and thin through hell of high water. But when times get tough, you sure knew who you, you sure know who your friends are. And those who 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 break away and who decide to say fuck you, okay. Cause they ain't gonna be fuck me, it's gonna be fuck you. Because that person's going to need you one day. Down the line. Because something happened in their lives. And they ain't got nobody else to turn to. They think, oh, proper amount of time has passed. Shit, I'm in a bind. I don't have anybody to call. Hmm. Let's call you. How are you going to handle it? Remember, their emergency doesn't mean your emergency. Just because they're fucked doesn't mean you should be trying to help them. I mean, guys, hold each other, hold people accountable for their stupid shit into the fullest. And in, so everybody sees it. Because when someone does you wrong or does something wrong, call it out. Make people learn. Because the more people who wake the fuck up and learn how to treat fellow human beings, you'll see how well this, this, how much shit gets fixed. But people need to be held accountable and need to know when they fuck up. Nobody's perfect. Not even me. So. But yeah, I didn't just, I know we kind of went on a little tangent, but I mean... Where are my fighters? Seems like it just seems like the world is getting soft, I mean, everybody wants to bitch and complain and worry about theirs instead of uh, worrying about the bigger picture. Remember, it takes unity. It takes literal people standing together on the same field, doing the same thing at the same time in the same place, the same arena. Strength in numbers, because they cannot take you all. They cannot arrest everybody. 
They can't even find out who everybody is. They'll be digging at that pile for hours, days, months, weeks, years. They can't get you all. Fuck. You're where everybody's worried about, like, the law coming down on you. Oh, no, we don't want to get arrested. Take your life into your own hands. Impose the justice you need, you feel needs to be imposed, fucking handle it. Because ain't nobody going to do it. Not not no judge, not no cop, not no lawyer, not no, nobody's going to deliver the justice that you can deliver. That's adequate enough to handle, to, to, to solve that problem. So handle yours. So with that, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, share. Hit that thumbs up. Let's beat this algorithm. If you like this channel, subscribe. If you want to, uh, if you want to get in touch with me, leave me a message in the comment section below, your email or whatever, and uh, we'll link up. All right, guys, have a good night. Enjoy your Saturday night, and uh, take it easy.